My name is John Clements. I'm director of the ARMA, the Association for Renaissance Martial Arts. We are the leading historical fencing uh, group in the world dedicated to study, reconstruction, revival, rebuilding, reclaiming of our Western martial heritage as represented by the masters of defense, the expert masters of arms who wrote treatises on fighting arts from roughly the late 13th to the mid 17th century. Hundreds and hundreds of detailed technical manuals, how-to books on martial arts. And when I Would that wound have disabled my arm? Would that wound have incapacitated me? Would it have debilitated me? We don't know. We've never done it for real with sharps. So we have to, to, to make our opinion be based upon two things. What we can do with sharp blades against test targets that represent human flesh and bone in motion. And two, what the historical accounts tell us of how much energy and force and momentum and edge angulation and proper grip has to be used in order to do a wound like that. I wasn't ready. <laughs> ah, see the little bit of blood he drew? They would call this in the historical schools the blooming of the rose. And they would say, was lert, das hurt, what hurts teaches. And fencing, the fencing area was often referred to as the rose garden because you were not expected to do anything without getting the little shaving cuts that blows will do. Nice. Nice.